Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm coming on here to reveal two dreams that I had or share two dreams that I had. I know it's been a minute. I haven't been on here. I've really been praying over some of these dreams and um, I feel like I got confirmation on two of them. So I'm going to share them. I'm not good at interpreting dreams. I'm going to say that now. So I'm just going to share my dream. Not that I have the gift of interpretation because I don't. I'm saying it right now. And I do think I do take things literally and not symbolically. So I know that's not good, you know, but I'm a little thinker. And I think the most high knows that he knows everything. So anyway, this one dream I had was March the 13th. But I've been praying on it because it was so different from the rapture dream that I shared with you guys. So anyway, let me get into it. The rapture dream that I had touched me so much. Every fiber of my being. And then on March 13th, I had a dream that I felt was a deceptive dream and um this is why i say that i was in a house that i wasn't familiar with but it was a nice house and you could like stay like go out on the porch and it was a covering like you know you still have like this covering over your head I don't know what you call it. Anyway, you step on the porch, and but you're still kind of underneath something. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was standing under that, and I looked up into the sky, and it was some beautiful colors in the sky. And it was small, like like if you look at a star, like the, how it twinkles, you know? But you can tell that these rainbow colors were illuminating from this light in the sky. And I was like, wow, that is so beautiful. And as I'm looking at it, it started getting bigger and bigger and bigger till it was like taking over the sky. Let me try to find a picture because I'm going to use my phone. I got my laptop and I must find a picture for you of what. The closest thing that I can say the sky look like hold on okay I know this don't look too good but this is kind of what the sky was looking like and this is I'm trying to this is my laptop you guys it's probably got a crazy background glow on it but the colors was not <laughs> like this but it was similar but it was beautiful okay so back to the dream when I seen that the sky was just so beautiful with these rainbows I was just like, oh, wow, that's just so beautiful. But at the same time, let's just say I could see the rainbow sky towards my left. But then another part of the sky, I start seeing all these white orbs of balls of light. And they were everywhere. And I was like, wow, where are these balls of light coming from? Remember, it's just a dream. I'm in my dream. Like, where's these balls of light coming from? And again, let's see if I can just, but trust me, it, it was a lot of balls of light. I'm just going to say it was something like this. Okay. I'm hoping I'm doing this right, you guys. So anyway, I seen these balls of light and I was like, well, damn, where all the things are coming from? And why well, I didn't say things because I didn't know what they were. But anyway, I seen uh, groups of people, like everybody was staring at the balls of light. Nobody was paying attention to the rainbow. Everybody was just pointing at these balls of light. And um, they were in huddles. Just imagine um, football. When they go discussing a play, they get into like a huddle, right? Like a group. So... 
it was several groups of people. Like they were like packed like sardines, but they were all looking at this light, but they were in huddles. So let me try to show you what I seen in my head. Okay, so it was some huddles of people in a circle. They were in a circle. Don't know what that means. I take things literally not symbolic, so any help would be greatly appreciated. But it was like at least several of these, and I can't say for sure it was several um, huddles of people. I'm not sure, but it was several, definitely. And they were all just in awe of these lights and so the lights came each ball of light hovered over not a person's head but a group so let's switch this around oh it won't let me switch it around okay well anyway the group of people who um was looking a ball of light would hover over this group. Ball of light was hovering over that group. Ball of light was hovering over each group. And I'm standing there under my porch thingy. And I'm like, in my dream, this is what I said. Oh my goodness, you guys don't need to be out there. You're leaving yourself vulnerable. You should be up under here. Get get, get it from my... Yeah, you don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And so it was like they were waiting for something. Like they was waiting for to get raptured up or lifted up. Now, I didn't see a beam of light, you know, beam them up. I didn't see that. But I knew everybody was in awe. Like they was mesmerized by these lights. And, um... Like I said, one ball of light for each group. And um, I was like, I'm not going out there. And I wasn't talking to a specific person. I was just literally talking to myself. But the, except when I said, what are you guys doing? You, you, you guys need to get safe. You need to come in here. Like, you shouldn't be out there like that. And then I backed in more into the house. You know, not a, I wasn't over that covering. I went on into the house and I looked up at the ceiling and I said, Jesus, the rapture, it, it, I don't think it's supposed to be like this. I said, Jesus, I know you would come get me. Wouldn't you come get me? I, again, I'm just talking to the father. I know this can't be like this. It wasn't like this before because in my dream, I knew that I had that other rapture dream. And I was like, it wasn't like this. You would send your angels for me. Father, forgive me. I know you would send your angels for me. I shouldn't have to go out there. I shouldn't have to go out there. And I was just so disturbed because I was scared because I didn't want to go out there. I didn't know what those things were. I didn't know what it was. Now, that's the end of that dream. Again, I'm assuming in that dream that those were not angels of light. I don't know what they were, but that's, that's the feeling I had in my dream. So I had that dream on the 13th. I did not share that dream because I kept praying on it, praying on it, praying on it. And let's see. Let me go back here. Let me stop this for a minute. Okay. So I came up on a young lady's thumbnail. I just seen the thumbnail. And I'm like, that's the light. That's the light I seen in my dream. You know, that it was just like, wow, what what is she talking about? And the title of her video was Rapture Confirmation. I kept been pray, praying for confirmation. A sign any day now. Um so I came across her video. And I listened to her video because I'm like, well, I, this is different from my dream. Lord, if it was, you know, help me to decide. What, what, what is that? Like, you know. And so I'm listening to her video and she was saying how she seen this ball of light outside of her window. 
And I'm like, OMG, you mean to tell me you seen this light? Like this is not a dream? Mine was a dream. Hers were re was reality. And so she's like, yeah, you know, I seen this ball of light. You, you watch the video, you guys. She seen this ball of light outside of her window. And the thing that touched me was the time she seen this ball of light, it she felt a, fearful, you know, like started praying and she didn't know what that was. And she was even saying that she's had other experiences. Now, again, um, I haven't watched a whole bunch of her videos or anything. I had never heard of her before. So I, after that, I started trying to look at some of her videos and she does seem like she's, um, um, a follower of Christ and she loves Christ. You know, I, I, I get a, a good, you know, like her spirit is, I, I feel it's positive, you know, could I be wrong? I could, but I don't feel anything negative. So I do believe she may have thought that was an angel of light. And I'm not saying it was, I don't know, but I'm just saying, I don't think it was, I don't think it was, you know, and, um, the Bible tells us the devil masquerades as a can masquerade around as a angel of light. So if he can, and maybe his little demonic entities can as well. But again, I'm telling you, I felt this in my dream that it that was not what it was pretending to be in my dream. I, I, I knew that. And then for me to have that video come across it and it said rapture confirmation, what? And then I click on it and it's the light that I dreamt about, but this is real. Then I started looking at, cause call me outside of the loop, you guys. Uh, I don't know. But then I started, Hey, if anybody else been sending these, seeing these lights, they didn't see these lights over Jerusalem. Now, please, you guys be careful, dude. Don't go, go rebuking me. I'm saying, I don't know, but Okay, like they say, the devil gonna go to gonna be inside church. You don't think that, what, what are these? What are these lights? You 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 just want to assume that they're angels of light because they they were hovering around the, the temple of Jerusalem or something. I don't even know if that was supposed to be the temple. I don't know, you guys. I'm just like looking at because from the time I had this dream, it was so confusing. From if any of you haven't seen my raptor dream, please go look at my raptor dream. This was so different from that dream. So um, I'm seeing people talking about a lot of these lights. You, you, I even came across a video where someone was praying to this light. And all of a sudden you see, this is on a reputable news channel, supposedly, where this man is praying to... A God, I don't know who the God is. And he prays for this light. And this light comes hovering out in the sky. In the broad daylight. And I'm like, oh my goodness, these things are out here. Now again, God forgive me. Lord knows since March 13th, I have been praying on this dream. So if I'm wrong, I can be wrong. I can be wrong. I'm the first to say, and I just said in the beginning, I don't know how to interpret. I don't know uh, symbolism. If I see a pregnant lady in my dream, I'm going to be like, oh, is she pregnant? You know, somebody else may say, okay, well, pregnancy means, you know, you're going to have a tumor. I don't know because I don't, I don't know how to do the symbolism thing, you know, and I guess that comes with learning and research and reading the Bible and, you know, you know, the Holy Spirit blessing you with that gift. But I know that um, I'm taking a chance just to say what my dream was because um, I know people will rip, rip you to shreds. But I'd rather be a fool for Christ than, you know, worrying about somebody uh, calling me names. Anyway, let me get to the other dream. Calm myself down. So nothing bad about that lady who, her video, I believe her spirit is beautiful I, I believe that she believed that that was an angel of 
light. I believe she believes that. And it could have been. I'm just saying my dream was kind of conflicting with what she saw. And then she even talked about abductions or something and UFOs. And she was praying because she was scared. And I'm thinking, it should be beautiful. It shouldn't be scared. You shouldn't be scared. If that's from the from the most high, if that's from above. But maybe you would be scared. I don't know. Especially if you had some type of traumatic experience. I don't know. It's never happened to me, so I can't judge. I'm being open-minded. I am just relaying the dream. All right, let me take a breath because this next dream is like, uh, I'm taking it literally again. I don't know about the symbolism, but I'm going to um, try to help with pictures so you can kind of get into my dream so you can feel like you were there. Okay, I'm trying to go ahead and get this done. Hopefully this is not going to be too long, you guys. Plus, my husband, I know he being here, he want to go to bed. He got to get up early in the morning. So, anyway, the second dream, I prayed on this. I had this dream April the 9th, okay? And when, oh, my goodness, you guys, I'm so nervous to even say this dream because um, I just don't want to be giving out wrong information so again um i'm taking it literally but i'll be the first to say that it could be symbolic in a lot of ways and if somebody else knows how to interpret it that's that'd be awesome because um yeah i don't know anyway i in the beginning part of the dream I was in front of a hole. Let me show you a picture. Okay, I had to move and come into the other room because my husband got to go to bed. So, anyway, um, I was in front of this hole. And this hole was deep, deep, okay? I don't know how, 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 how deep it went, but I was in front of that deep hole. But I was sitting on the ground. And across from me, on the opposite side of that hole, it was a man. And this man was dressed in, this is the closest picture I can come up with. Let me take a picture. I hope this video come out right. Okay, so he was dressed in those type of clothes. He had this like turban on his head. Um, he was kneeling on both his knees he was he was kneeling in front of the hole and so he had a coin i don't know if it was a silver coin a bronze coin a gold coin i don't know but i know he had a coin and he took the coin and he flipped it into the hole and i'm sitting across from him just looking at him he never looked up at me he had flipped it into the hole and then I, I can't even explain this dream. I'm trying not to leave out details in case somebody wanted to try to interpret the dream. So I'm, I'm sitting on my bum bum, my bottom. And I only had one leg sticking out. Do I even have a picture of that? I should have did that. But uh, let me just see. Like, you know, just one leg sticking <laughs> Anyway, my right leg was sticking out over the hole, okay? My right leg is sticking out over the hole. I know. I, you need a visual. But my right leg sticking out over the hole. So, over, I'm, try, my, I'm trying to, and, and I see three stones. Oh, my God. This is horrible. I'm bad at this. I see three stones. So, it's me, the man that's across from me. The big hole is in the middle. And then I see three stones. And let me see if I can get a visual of the stones. Okay, so the stones. Okay, the stones kind of look like the picture that I just showed you. Um, and it was 
writing on the stones. And I'm going to tell you what each writing said on each stone. And I had my legs sticking out and I was trying to, with my legs sticking out, my right leg, I was trying to go over the stone with my leg trying to go over I can't even explain it but I was trying to go over the stone with my leg and you know how like the end of your this is these are a pair of pants so if your leg is sticking out like this I'm trying to go over the stone it's almost like just the the hem of it touched the stone as I was trying to go over it and the first stone said Sun is the rock. No, not the. I'm sorry. It wasn't a the in there. I'm going to be specific. Sun is rock. That's all it said. Sun is rock written on the stone. And as I was trying to take my right leg and go over the stone, a piece of my garment touched the stone. But I was trying not to touch the stone. I don't even know why. But when I touched it, the stone just crumbled. Then this, I, I'm, you know, I'm taking my leg and I'm trying to go over the next stone. And as I'm doing it, I can read what the second rock says. And the second rock says, my time watch reset. My time watch reset. Watch. I'm thinking literally a watch on your wrist, but watch could be watch, watching, watch somebody. I don't know. But this is the part. The third stone. Took my leg going over the third stone again. And each time I went over each stone, the bottom of my pants leg hit it and it would crumble. The third stone. I had this dream April the 9th. The ninth, the third stone said, destruction in 27 days. That's why it took me so long to post this video. I am not into, uh, I'm not even going to say it. I don't even know what that means. Destruction. Is it destruction in my life? Is it destruction in my family life? Is it destruction in my friend's life? Is it destruction in America? Is it destruction in another country? Because that hole that I seen and the garments that person had on, I felt like either I was someplace else, you know, like I was in another time or era or either I was in another country I it it, it 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 sure wasn't you know Jamaica Queens that's for sure I don't live in Jamaica Queens by the way but I'm just saying you know I can tell it was just something different about where I was at in my dream so um that was the end of that part of the dream and again let me take a picture So to end it, that was the end of that dream. I had that dream April the 9th. 27 days came up to May the 6th. Unless I counted wrong, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I'm like, you know, trying to Google is there a specific date on that, you know, on May 6th. What's going on on May 6th? You know, I don't hear nobody talking about May 6th. And I'm like, you know, wait, Father, is this something I, I might not need to, you know, say? I don't need to talk about. Anyway, I felt like I did have confirmation to share this. And again, I don't even know how many minutes I'm into now, but I know I need to not make this so long. A lot of people's attention spans, I know mine ain't, okay, ain't good. You know, when people make real long drawn out videos, but I'd rather again in my heart 
feel like I believe the Lord want me to share this for whatever reason. And if I'm wrong, nothing happens. Fine. Nothing may not happen. It could be something can happen in my life. This could be personal for me. But I would want to share it with the body of Christ. Why? Because if it's something that's going to happen in my life, I need every blood washed believer to be praying for me. You know, pray for my family. You know, I plead the blood of Jesus over my household every day and over my friends, over the body of Christ. So, um, but I don't know. I, I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. I don't even know what right is. I don't know what destruction is. And like I said, I'm, I take things literally. I do. I take things literally. How, what other way is there to, uh, say destruction 27 days? How do I uh, turn that into something symbolic? Written in stone. I don't know. But, you know, I know that maybe it was three stones. Maybe the three symbolize something. Maybe 27 symbolize something, you know. Maybe the man kneeling in the hole. Maybe my right leg going over the hole symbolizes something. Maybe the coin going into the hole symbolizes something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to uh, leave you guys with that. I'm hoping to get some comments um, on what do you guys think that mean? You know, those are both my dreams. And again, um, I'm a believer. I love God. I love Jesus Christ. And I do have the Holy Spirit. So I always ask the Father to guide my footsteps, lead me. And if it's something that's not of you, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, I, I do. Do you guys see how long it took me to post that? I had a dream on March the thirteenth about those orbs of light or whatever the light. I didn't even want to post it. Look how long it took me. I I can't just have a dream and then wake up and say, "Well, this was my dream," and I ain't think about it. I'm not praying on it, you know. And anybody that I've discussed it with, I mean, I could probably on one hand said keep it to yourself or yeah all right big deal yeah ain't nothing gonna happen and i'm not saying nothing is gonna happen but it's so it's a dismissive behavior so you know when at, if i live 70 more years okay i thank god for that 70 more years but at the end of my life and I stand in front of the Father because we all got to stand in front of him one day. He knows my heart is right. He knows that I'm doing what I believe is right. He knows that. Nobody else don't need to know it. And like I said, if I'm making a, a statement that offends someone or that's not lining up with scripture, forgive me. But know that it's coming from a place that is in here. And sometimes you may not understand a dream. I may not understand people's dreams. You know, Joseph dream. People ain't like what his dreams. You know, everybody don't like what you dream. Everybody don't gotta, you know, and you may not understand it. That's why Daniel was an interpreter. You think he had good news for people? Mm -mm. Everybody wasn't happy with his dreams. He said, do you really want to know? Do you really want to hear this? And so I'm not even interpreting it. I'm like, you know, I want to know what it mean. That's my whole purpose. I want to know what it mean because if somebody can enlighten me, at least now I know. And these days are getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And I'm like, okay, Lord, it's the, it's the, um, what is today? The 25th. Viv, you better open up your mouth. Open up your mouth, girl. You better say something. And I believe I had my confirmations. That's why I shared my dreams today. Those are the two that I shared. If I'm not led to share, I'm not sharing. Anyway, God bless you guys. Looking for feedback. Um, and for my other subscribers, I know I have not even gave y'all an update on my uh, Shea Bay journey. I'm going to 
get that out there. I gotta get that out there. I even got the videos. I haven't up uploaded them. I'm like, I'm just so consumed with other things that's like more important, you know, like, you know, the body of Christ, the most high, that, that's my number one priority. You know what I'm saying? The father's my number one priority. Then my family, you know, so which all you guys are my family. So um, that's it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.